Up and a half. Hmm. All right, 34. One more time. I don't even know if we have 12 pounds of corn syrup in the bucket. Trying to like see how few scoops I can get it in. Mm -hmm. You know, if we heated this stuff up, we could probably just pour it right out. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, it's just being a sea fish. So how uh, how much you put in there? Twelve pounds. We're doing um, a thirty-six pound batch, which is pretty much as much as we can fit in a cream beater. Mm. And it's a one to two ratio between the corn syrup and the sugar. So I start with twelve. It's a little baby wall. Oh yeah, just to you see how it's just like not quite in the middle there. Yeah. I just wanted to get it up a little higher. So now it's a 12? Uh, it, was, it was probably pretty More much a 12 already, yeah. <laughs> yeah. In a bowl, 25 pounds. Yep, that's 25 pounds already. <laughs> Hold on, when you get to the bottom, the carrots start coming out. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> I put more than that in my bowl of cereal every morning. I know. So. Here's for the easy part. <laughs> you go. You're a strapping young lad. You could do it. It's close though. How many pounds is it? Actually, like with the kettle and everything? Ooh, 58. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Oh, that sound effect. <laughs> uh, <you're right. laughs> Is that from hitting the copper kettle? Uh, I think it's from like uh, let's see if we can the water it. coming out as you tap it. Oh, that's it. Can you do it again? <laughs> oh, I gotta be pouring it at the same time. Mm. Nope. <laughs> hey, A for effort though, right? Mm -hmm. That's a spell effort. I was always like, because you know how like in our school they used E mm -hmm. as like the top? Mm -hmm. So I was like, is it E for effort as in that's how you spell it? Or is it E for effort as in like... Excellent. Because that's our best Yeah, yeah so our it was best weird. Grade. Okay, so at our school anyway, growing up, it, you, E was the best grade you could get. So it's E for excellent. And then it was G for very good. Oh, okay, why yeah. Is, why is it G for very good? And those <laughs> were the people telling us how to spell? <laughs> I know. Come on, man. And then after that, it was like satisfactory and unsatisfactory. Yeah. So it was like E, G, S, and U. <laughs> Very intuitive. <laughs> yes. Uh, grading scale here. <laughs> and the teacher's probably like, and you're teaching our kids? You want us to do what? <laughs> <laughs> well, that must have been like the whole, they didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings, right? So, I don't know. Well, it's, like, well, it's just unsatisfactory. Because uh, when we got to like high school, I think middle school, we just got number grades. Like, we didn't get, there was no A's or B's. It was like, out of a hundred. So you know exactly where you stood. Listen, we care about how you feel up until you're 12 years old. Then no, you're a failure kid, <laughs> all right? 
Yeah, I actually never had any teachers that would say that. You'll never do anything oh, with yeah, your no. life. Like, I feel like our teachers were... Our school was pretty great. Yeah. And like, you know, I mean, we've talked about it before, I didn't really see any bullying or anything. I'm just sure it happened. Yeah. Oh, there was definitely mean kids, but... Like in middle school, okay, it definitely happened. Like, we had a, a friend who would bully us, and we, but we were friends with him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I guess for a while there, I just kind of thought that that's what friends did. Yeah, well, I, I guess kind of in middle school, that's what guys don't do. Uh, yeah. Each other. <laughs> Hornets, rhinos. <laughs> but, you know, slapping each other on the neck and all that fun stuff. Pressure points. <laughs> Pressure oh, points. Okay. You're waiting up to get, what, 235 points? 238.5? You got it. Oh. Right when you're back. You made me look away. I know. Now you burned the whole back. Oh. Can you help me dump it in the trash? Yeah. Hercules candy burns to the ground <laughs> due, due to negligence. Do you remember that one time uh, we burnt the batch and we had to take the whole kettle and put it in a snow bank to cool it down? It got up to like 360. No. Yeah, it was hot. <laughs> what? All right, I gotta go find somebody to help me pour it. All right. For the action. Wow. I like how close to the edge it gets though. Yeah, me too. If you let it get like this a little too cold, it'll go right over the edge. <laughs> so it, if it gets too cold, it'll go over the edge? And if it's too warm, it'll go over the edge too? I guess, like yeah, that's why it probably you would. Because you waited like uh, 20 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, that's mostly for the Inverface. If you put the Inverface in too warm, I think it like wrecks it. Oh. Um, well, when uh, did you yeah. put it? Did you just put in the Inverface? Yeah. Oh, okay. Put it right before we turn it on. Like Max was like, hey, I'm about to turn this on. You want yeah. to see this, right? <laughs> My timer went off and I just came out and started going. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of tough to, you know what I mean? Because it like piles up here and here, so I'm like, oh yeah. yeah that's cool. My dad was saying that like if it gets overbeat, then it uh, gets hard like a rock. Yeah, it would be really hard to pull out of here. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's why I usually um, I'll let it sit for like 10 minutes before I come over. You know, just to let it firm up, mm -hmm. but uh, since it got beat a little extra, it's already <laughs> kind of there. So if you try to pull it when it's not firm enough, is it just... It just runs right off the paddles, yeah. Oh, it's okay. just, it's not like it's, it doesn't change the quality of the cream, because sure. eventually it'll wind up in the same spot. But, yeah. Uh, so you're basically, you melt, you're liquefying the sugar, and so it can get poured in here. And then beating it until it's kind of solid enough so you can scoop it out, and then remelting it so that you can but make less. it so you can make it solid into shapes in there. Yep. <laughs> yep. Chemistry, man. <laughs> Going from the solids to liquids, to solids. We're just That's making a, a whole bunch a of combined liquid. <laughs> yep. And then a solid. Yeah. It. Yeah. Right. It's like it, it sounds like you could skip a couple of those yeah. steps. But. I wonder if we could like. Oh no, because you gotta aerate it. Mm -hmm. If we could find a way to whip it in the bowl, yeah. I guess you could bring it up to like 240 and then just bring it right back down to 130. Yeah. But then also, sometimes you guys will scoop it out of here and then set it aside and then use it like the next day or something. Whereas well, like that, you would probably have to use it like immediately. If you, we haven't if done that in a long time yeah. though. Oh, Because yeah. we're. <laughs> there's no point in waiting anymore. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't know if you had heard about it, but last week we were. Um, I was dropping two batches of cream while Joe was covering two batches of cream. We made like eight batches in one week. Oh wow. Yeah. It's crazy. Because usually for creams you guys will just make them a lot for a while and then you don't have to make them for a while, like a couple weeks, right? Yeah. Or is that like how it was just around Christmas? Um, I was like, there was some time of year I know you guys were like, oh I haven't made it in like a couple months. Yeah, so, so the plan is usually like... Um, you try to stock up for Christmas, which mm -hmm. I it usually takes me until like August to do that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this year we had like a stock of six to eight boxes by August, so mm -hmm. we kind of got to take a break for a few months. But then, like, we're cleared out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> heavy one. 
This is gonna be the first batch of. Oh, this is the creams. I thought you were doing the. Oh yeah, because oh, you're just switching. Yeah, <laughs> it's just an old one. So you can tell like we only had like seven creams in this one oh, or yeah. something. That's why it's a little heavier. There's a little bit uh, a little bit extra quartz search in there. Hmm. Totally that, not because I'm you know a string bean. <laughs> So just the first round of eggs? First round, yeah. Yep, <laughs> the only round, really. <laughs> yeah, first round of eggs. And it's peanut butter cream. Mm. The best one. Is that your favorite, best favorite one? The peanut butter cream, I'm not really a big fan of sweets. Not really a big fan of the creams. Not really a big fan of peanut butter. <laughs> Love those peanut butter <laughs> creams, man. Yeah, That's so the good. Then. Yeah, yeah, right? Best of all three world. <laughs> The worst of all three makes the best of one. <laughs> and they say... That's math. Well, it's right, two wrongs don't make a right, but three lefts do, right? Mm -hmm. So There you go. Three lefts do make a correct. Yes. So see, when me and Brad were here, we were just one lefty away. <laughs> Two jars of peanut butter in that <laughs> super full batch of cream. Yeah. Remember when we used to try to fit two people in a tiny star room with the whole thing? <laughs> yes. I like how you use the word try. Try. Yeah. Hey, you got three people back there once, right? Not very successfully. Yeah. It was uh, <laughs> me, my dad, and Greg from Lofty Pursuits. I was trying to get a video of him getting a video. <laughs> two people, an arm, and a camera. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, all right, I'm just going to let you guys do a video. I don't even know how Greg stood up in there, because he, he was taller than yeah. you, right? Yeah he's, yeah, he's about my height or so. Like, even I had to kind of hunch over with yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. Back room. Yeah. Now we don't have to hunch over for anything. Not unless we want to. Yeah. Not even Joe. <laughs> yeah, really. I don't even think Joe could stand, like, near the sink. If yeah, it's, it's, it's good we hired him when we started working here because I don't know that he would fit into the other house. He would have walked down the stairs and been like, nope. <laughs> yeah, I'm leaving. Nope. This is going to work. <laughs> this after everyday work just has to go to the power factory for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the noise it would make. Well, that's what we got the inversion table for, right? Yeah. Cut the back out and do it. Like, eh, it's not that bad in the Star Room, you know, it doesn't get that cloudy. And then I looked down at my shirt. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoop, you caught on me. Like, are we do -si doing? <laughs> so what are you looking for when you're doing that? Just to make sure that it's in the right spot. Um, that you know the um, the imprints are like over the board, that none's too close to one side or the other. It matters a lot more with the creams where like it takes up the entire board. But uh a bit of a creature of habit. Mm. Just make sure, you know, there's nothing sticking out or whatever. Alright. Just the last one? This is the last one. Let's see if we can't scrounge up some cornstarch here. Taking a picture of it when I first started, man. Like, there's so much cornstarch you could barely put the tree down. <laughs> now there's like none. Yeah. Literally scraping the bottom. <laughs> scraping the bottom of the bin. That's saying goes, right? Yes. I guess if you're in the UK, yeah. they say bin instead of garbage. Yeah. I think. I think. Please don't uh, get mad at me if you're from the UK. I don't want to get roasted. That's <laughs> so, yeah, right? That's certainly the impression that's, over here. That's what I've heard like from podcasts and stuff. Yeah, rubber string. Yeah. And the boot. The boot of the car. Yeah, yeah. Oh, one yeah. Day, I, the first time I heard the boot of the car, I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real. I was like, I've never heard of the boot. Like, it's in the boot? <laughs> what? It's a boot what? <laughs> I thought you were Scottish, not, uh, <laughs> not Canadian. <laughs> Yeah, it makes you wonder too, like, okay, you know, it's a boot, like most colloquialisms have like, you know, some sort of tie back to like old timiness. Who's carrying stuff in their boots? <laughs> I think it's interesting all the, the little things, like the, 
the, I don't know if you consider it slang or all the just all the things that people in the UK say, but I wonder if there's a whole lot of things in the US that we say and they're like, what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Even words like cool, like cool you take for granted, but... But they don't say that over How does cool... No, I just mean like, cool doesn't mean me, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, it doesn't? It, I always thought it did. <laughs> no, no, like it does, but cool is a temperature, you know? Yeah, it's oh, like, right, how did we yeah. get there? Okay, I'm going to put this one straight down. I'll just I save myself saying. a step later. Mm -hmm. Ta-da. Do I curtsy, bow, whatever? Right. Both? Right. Closer. I was going to do it from all the way up there, but I tried to <laughs> splash cream all over. There. It's like when well, my mom's dropping dumplings. <laughs> Does she make dumplings? Um, sometimes we're doing like chicken and dumplings or something. Oh, that sounds good. Drop, drop biscuits, I think she calls them. Oh, yeah. My mom's making oh, drop biscuits before. Mm -hmm. There's nothing better than homemade biscuits. Mm -hmm. Well, except for the rest of the stuff that goes with it. <laughs> the gravy and the mashed potatoes. Cooked veggies. <laughs> Hopefully some french fries on the side. <laughs> Down into the bottom. Hey, Jeff, if you could start making shorter bottles <laughs> yeah. here, that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be perfect for our uses. <laughs> Maybe a squeeze jar? <laughs> that'd be pretty, pretty great. Just send us like a, a wide Tupperware. For Jeff. <laughs> a 50-gallon <laughs> bathroom. <laughs> Barrel, bucket, whatever you want to call it. We can go through it quick, Dad. So we yeah, have to, you know, like you're saying, you're doing two jars for this. Uh, do you, how many jars do you guys use when you do uh, peanut butter cups? Um, <laughs> a, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like a jar and a half every time you fill the funnel. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So I don't know. We're doing like one jar per batch when we do ribbon. We use a lot of peanut butter here. Yeah. yeah a lot of peanut butter. <laughs> Not to mention the people snacking in the back. <laughs> yeah, we got a pre stock snack table. And, uh, yeah, we did pretty good for ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't think of the word break. I'm Craig Andrianos. Here is some shocking Hercules candy news. As it turns out, over half of our viewership is not subscribed. But there is hope. Here at Hercules Candy, we're starting a new subscriber outreach program which allows viewers like you to subscribe to Hercules Candy for the low, low cost of just one click. And if you're willing to donate just one more click, you too can join the exclusive notification squad here at Hercules Candy. And you know, a like and a comment on this video definitely wouldn't hurt the YouTube algorithm. But with all that said, now back to your regularly scheduled content. Mom. Sorry, did I'm I... trying to do a news show. I'm sorry. Did, here, here, here. I'll put it with... Is this for your little YouTube program? Back to your regularly scheduled content Is this now. good? It was very peanut buttery. Yes. It's awesome. It smells super good. Yeah. yeah. That's you, crazy. And you haven't even added the peanut butter flavoring yet. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Like, if we tasted it, it probably still wouldn't be quite too you know. Mm -hmm. Just trying to make sure it's not stuck to the edges and stuff. Uh, there was a little, a little ball of peanut butter I was trying to break out. Mm. But yeah, up here, I'm just, I'm just trying to make sure it doesn't go over the edge. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, it definitely thickened up. Yeah. Woo! Right? It's getting <laughs> close. <laughs> I know there's some people that, uh, they're getting kind of anxious watching this. Whoa! Over. <laughs> that is super close. Yeah, it's it's kind of <laughs> scary. And like I know, I don't know if you saw that white. You know, it was like kind of a white cluster of whiteness. Like you can see it coming up on the edge there. So like oh, I know it's like, not mixed up. Yeah, on that. like cream that's not doesn't have peanut butter in it. Yep. Yeah. So I know yeah. people have said before that like when you are using the Enrover sometimes and they see the peel just like bouncing up and down, they said that that gets them anxiety. Yeah. They're just like, oh, come on, Max, don't let it drop. <laughs> You're not the only ones. People come in all the time and they're like, that's getting close. <laughs> like, I know, I know. I gotta, gotta use up every second I got on these. Yeah. There's a little 
cluster of peanut butter still. Oh, it smells so bad. Mm -hmm. If someone doesn't like peanut butter. Well, that's it. It's like you add a ton of confectioner sugar to peanut butter. It gets this smell. It's like oh, it's yeah. candy peanut butter at mm -hmm. that point. It's. And for a guy who doesn't like sweets. Oh, <laughs> like, oh just like, add sugar to it. Dude, I'm getting so excited right now. I can't wait to taste this. <laughs> oh, I don't know if it's, you know, if it's right oh, again I'll this year. I'm going to have to have some. Here goes half the bag. Oh, it's so good. Where's the biggest spoon we get? This, is this it? <laughs> Actually, yeah, that might be it. I'll just have one scoop of peanut butter cream, please. <laughs> Adding even more peanut butter. <laughs> It's just not peanut butter enough. There's only four pounds of peanut butter. Yeah. Woo! 1.25 shots? Yeah, you know. Yeah. You know when you're reading recipe and it says, eh, splash. <laughs> splash extra. <laughs> or if it says one clove of garlic, like, okay, so <laughs> six. We should probably taste a little bit more before we sit drop. Yeah. Them, but, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. One half batch. <laughs> We're just oh. on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> we can't drop any more. <laughs> What the heck, Max? I'm trying to work here. Oh man, I probably just broke the whole camera. <laughs> there goes YouTube. Oh yeah, that's gonna cost you. <laughs> yeah. This is a ten thousand dollar. No, like million dollars. Uh, so what's that? Like four or five sticks of peanut butter cream? Yeah. All right, we'll call it even. Yeah. Okay, let's see. I know there's like a special way to do this, but. With a wide stance. That's all you gotta do. Dude, I'm telling you, I can get, I can get pretty can low. Go lower. I just can't get back up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is like the perfect temp. This is great. Yeah? What temp was it last time you checked? Uh, 155, okay. 157, something like that. But you see how it's just like going right into the, the mold? Mm -hmm. Usually I have to like do it in a certain way to get it to like fill up. Mm. Like different uh, cool. motions and. Yes, and the rotary girders and the specs on the... Did I hear a niner in there? <laughs> Check that thing for bugs. <laughs> Alright, how many people do you think are getting that reference? Uh, I'd say 25%. Yeah. I, um, I never saw that until Ms. Baker showed it to us in, in marketing class. I mean, it's an we excellent marketing film. <laughs> I mean, shoot, he gets it by the end. It's a great class. Shout out to Miss Baker. She's if she's watching. <laughs> I know you're out there. I'm sure there's other Miss Bakers who are watching who are not her. They're like, that's me. That's me. <laughs> and uh, Miss Gaelic, hey, she's the other one. Yeah. Crystal Gaelic. And Miss Mock too. <laughs> Shout out to all the teachers. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, I can see the what was that? The G wing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All the G wing teachers. Miss Koch. Erin Riley. Go for it. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you saved it. Woo. That's close. <laughs> there goes on my last Oh, line. no. Two million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm just thinking about freshman year now. I'm like, oh, man, I got to stop. Were you in that class? I think you were, maybe you were, I don't know. Really there was one class, I think class. I had Miss Baker, and I was only in there for a couple of days, but the oh. whole time I just talked with a southern accent. Just because <laughs> Did I just, she believe it? Uh, she never told me not to do that, <laughs> <laughs> but there's other people in the class who knew who I was. They're like, why are you talking like um, that? Craig Andriannis? I'm here. <laughs> and then I, I forgot why. I think I just traded that class for a study hall yeah. because, you know, I, I just had to study. That's why. Because you don't want to be part of DECA. <laughs> That goes a lot of work, I'll tell you. You did, DECA? Kinda. I contributed. I knew some people who did DECA. I was always too scared to go to the actual things, though, so I was like, I'll work on the project, I'm not going. So is this uh, enough for all 12? <laughs> I hope it's not more than that. <laughs> but yeah, it's it. It said in the book that it was 12 trays last year, so. It doesn't look like you even took anything out. I know, really. <laughs> I think they're filling it back up when we go in there. I'm pretty yeah, sure. What the heck? Sneaky guys. Oh, yeah, so can you uh, answer why? Because I know people are always saying, like, we should get like, a hot plate and like, put it in there or something like that. 
In the water? <laughs> no, no, no. Hold on. So they're saying, <laughs> oh, people what? have commented before saying that we should get one of these and like put it in yeah. the starch room on like a hot plate to oh. like, keep it warm. And then I had to go in and explain it. So if we could explain it in the video and then people don't even have to ask. Um, I would say the main reason we don't want something like that in the starch room is that there's pretty much always starch flying around and we don't want starch like in the candy. Mm -hmm. um, it would be precariously placed on the, on the thing. You know, we wouldn't want to spill all that cream. Mm -hmm. um, as far as heating it goes, it might work, but I don't think it would walk 10 feet, so. <laughs> but wouldn't it uh, change like, the temperature and the uh, humidity of the room too? Oh yeah, I could see that too, because we'd probably still want to do a double boiler just to like, you know, as a fail safe for the heat. Yeah. Mess that water boiled off. That would not be good for the starch. Mm -hmm. Plus you need to get your exercise in. You don't have gym membership, so. It's this is true. Next best thing. Haven't been hiking either, so yeah. <laughs> gotta, sh gotta shed those pounds, you know? <laughs> yeah, by the time you get out, it's pretty dark, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's too scary for me to go running at night. <laughs> Seriously, the smell of these drives me nuts. Mm -hmm. There I wonder how many times we'll have to do this. I haven't really looked at the egg list. Mm -hmm. I think we're aiming for like almost 600. Dude, that 600 eggs total? Uh, I think 600 like just for the peanut butter. I think it's like something like 580. 600 batches. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm going home for a while. <laughs> 600 batches only. This video is sponsored by Five Hour Energy. <laughs> <laughs> And Nymo. <laughs> Keep them lights on. All right, 600 batches. I'm trying to think. It's 36 pounds. So if we made it just 30, 600 batches. Talking like close to 20,000 pounds worth of cream. <laughs> That's it though. <laughs> I'll go through that in a year. Do you think that there's just about as much cream in here as there would be in like a normal assorted chocolate size? Like per tray you're saying? Yeah. Mm. All right, so a funnel, which is two scoops, will get me 75% of a cream tray. And this is two, well, a little over one and a half, so yeah, it's I about guess. about the same. Yeah, it's probably pretty close. Hmm. They're pretty close. I wasn't thinking so at first, but you know, once we really look at it. Mm -hmm. Way less uh, egg depressions compared to the cream ones. So. Yeah. I was thinking, like, I wonder if someone could do this at home with just like a box some cornstarch and then just use like an ice cube tray or something to make the depressions. Yeah, yeah you could like do anything. Oh yeah? Yeah, she did a great job. Was it with like ice cube tray or did yeah, she make I think her? It was. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, cause I feel like that's something that's very accessible yeah, anyone can do it. Yeah, she just used a little box of corn syrup in it. I mean cornstarch. Mm -hmm. Cornstarch and then pressed it in and she made the creams. Oh. Yeah. I think they sell the molds like that on Amazon. I could be wrong. Oh yeah? I think they did. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, you could do, uh, you could just get any molds that you would normally fill up and then just like press it down. Yeah, any, in any shape you want. I mean, yeah. it doesn't matter. Sure. That's yeah. cool. Ah, all right, he's, he's stalking me. Got a cold spot. So does it take uh, like a couple of them before you get the rhythm down and like it heats up? Um, no, it's usually just plugged up from like the stuff that's in the bottom from the last one. So once you get that out of the way, usually start going. 
it's starting to like really loosen up in the kettle now, so mm -hmm. it's probably just the water's getting a little hotter. Yeah, I always thought about making sour creams at home, and I thought it'd be cool to like. You could even take like an old action figure or something, <laughs> press it into some starch. That's a big one. If you get a super chunky egg, you know where it came from. Huh. So I was thinking of uh, ways to make these better and stuff. What do you think? Like a thin layer of ganache underneath it? I don't know ganache is, to be the, honest. The truffle filling? Oh. I'll Just never like say you know truffle filling. Right? I was thinking like a layer of nuts, or do you cover it in nuts and then cover it in chocolate? I'm always trying to think of like other things that we could cover it in. Huh. Since you know I'm not really a chocolate nut. Caramel. Yeah, thank you. If there would be like some way to like solidify whipped cream. Hmm. Is that frozen dessert? Mm. Dude, this with ice cream? Tell me that would be awesome. Based on my extensive research. <laughs> you, you never eat any of like the, the candy over ice cream or anything? Mm, not really. Any scrap pieces? The next day. Hey Max, it's YouTube again. And we're there with another magazine. All right. Uh, yep, so we're finally getting to the cream eggs here. Almost that time of year again. <laughs> <laughs> so another quick Easter year this year. Yeah. We got like four or five weeks. What uh what day is Easter this year? The fourth. Hmm. The fourth, man, like like uh Valentine's Day was over and it was like, okay, well hmm. start making them bunnies. Yeah, every year. I am not sure which one I like better, like having more time to prepare for it or it being over quick, you know? <laughs> We only do these once a year, so I'm always like, how do I do this again? <laughs> you have to do this a little bit differently than uh, the assorted creams? Yeah. Yeah, the cornstarch just like comes right off the, the creams. You know, you can really beat them up with the brush and mm -hmm. whip them all over, but see, it just like really likes to cling on there. Mm. So you kind of got to like uh, really get top off. way. But then watch, like as soon as, because now I got to bounce them around to get the other side and mm -hmm. like, they never all flip the same way. Right. They share cornstarch. <laughs> but it's worth it. Like, I know I was going off about these yesterday too, but like as I'm unmolding them, I'm like, man, I can't wait to eat one of these. <laughs> I mean, we are going to have to go taste that one. Oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Is this one of your favorite things here? Dude, the, the peanut butter cream, I, I am a sucker for it. What, what would you say is your favorite candy here? Probably the chips. Chocolate yeah. cover chips are just. Yeah. They're one of those ones that like I'll forget about too, and then as soon as I have one, I'm like, oh no, like this is going to. And so. You can see there's still ones of course I all over them. <laughs> yeah. 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 We got like 750 out of that batch, hmm. so. I don't know if we'll be making these again. Did you ever wish you were a little taller? Sometimes. Sometimes OSO is a little shorter. Do you? Sometimes. I've thought about it before, like, do you remember being short? I remember everything else being bigger than it is. Yes. Like when you're a little kid, you like go some back somewhere and you're like, man, I remember this being a lot bigger. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah. 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 Yeah
They're like countertops. I remember being in the kitchen, like having to look up at the <laughs> counter and stuff. And Honestly, now I go back to my parents' house and I'm like, man, the, these counters and everything just seems shorter. But I don't know if like it's because everything in my apartment is just taller. <laughs> no, man, you just you just keep growing. I've never yeah. seen somebody who keeps getting taller every time I see him. What are you up to now? Like seven, seven foot two? At least. I mean, you're like what six eight? Yeah. Joe's about eight foot. Yep. Yeah, he's he's a big guy. I gotta tell you, man. I don't know what he needs, but it's working for him. Okay, there's got to be a vegetable plant in there somewhere. So what do you need if you want to get taller? Does it, it just sounds like a joke, doesn't it? Spring beans? I'm sure Jeff. Uh, I was gonna say Jeff. <laughs> Yo, what are you doing? You know Jeff. I am Jeff. Can we get that little like raining down? Yeah. The first I, I think it just got it off your hands. Can you like, normally go like that? See if you got any. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little bit less next time. <laughs> All right. I usually only do three of these, but it mm. doesn't look like it's filling up the tray that much. Mm. I got nine trays to go, so <laughs> I'll try to push it here. They taste great. They're the easiest things to run. Mm. Oh, I love eggs. Have you run them on the, the new, like the milk and rubber before? Uh, I'm trying to remember if we had uh, it this, yeah. this last Easter. I don't think so. Remember back in the day when you guys used to have to switch from milk to dark in the inner rubber all the time? God, let's not, let's not talk about the dark times. <laughs> yeah, when the inner rubber would be down for like one to two hours every day. chocolate cover things and have, I think it was my dad loading it and you taking it off, yeah, right? the other way around. Yeah. If that was always the, the paper side. Mm. Or even before that, when I remember your dad doing them by hand and, mm -hmm. you know, we were only doing like six tray batches back then. And it would still take like 12 hours to cover them all. Or a bag of gummy bears, you remember that? Oh, yeah. Pretzels, chips, everything took so long. It's pretty wild, you know, how much things have changed. Give this one a shot. Nope, nope. As soon as I slid down, I'm like, nope, there's more pressure. It's impossible to get it all off, but people have asked before if you can taste the cornstarch, and I've I've never tasted any of the cornstarch and any of the creams. I don't think the cornstarch has a taste. Yeah. It's got a texture, but I love the texture of cornstarch. Yeah. I mean, I, I you can kind of feel the texture if you just eat like a bare cream, but when it's covered in chocolate, you, you no, don't taste it, know. you don't uh, feel it or anything. No. It's like it was never there. I mean, pretty much, it gets buried in the chocolate. Yeah. Uh, pretty high tech. Huh? Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get fancy around here. You know, everything was working good, but we were like, why don't we upgrade it? You know, yeah. we'll just do a couple of aftermarket yeah. parts. Yeah. All right, custom. we got a tray. Yeah, custom. <laughs> Come on down to the Hercules shop, we'll hook you up. <laughs> How many yo dogs are going to be in the comments? <laughs> oh, oh, that's a funny looking one. We're going to have to set that aside. You can't, can't use that. <laughs> There's a lot of those, huh? Oh yeah, all of them are pretty bad. We should probably just eat these and yeah. start over. Just a throwaway batch for practice. Yeah. For practice eating. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my jaw was getting a little skimpy over here, right, so I just yeah. wanted to... Good workout. Yeah. 
All right, when I was a kid, I don't, know, I don't know if you remember, but I was, I always had gum on me, and uh, my dentist straight up was like, dude, if you don't stop chewing gum, you're gonna give yourself lockjaw. <laughs> like what? I remember when my parents would say, if you keep making that face, it's gonna stay that way, and I was like, I was like, no, it's not. But then a part of me was like, wait, what yeah. if it does? Though? I know, you're always scared of it. Because back then, you didn't like when we were growing up, you didn't have Google. Yep. You could Google stuff. Yep. Your parents could lie to you whatever they wanted. Yeah. There was no way to find out. What was, uh, my parents said the one where, like, if, if somebody hits you in the back while you're making a face at it and stay. Yep. And Liz and Jason were over and we went immediately into the basement and started, like, we were like, okay, you make a face and I'll hit you on the back. <laughs> we were like, no. There's no way. <laughs> like, no, I'm not gonna do it, you do it. Oh no, we were all like, okay, if one of us is going down, we're all going down. <laughs> but yeah, we probably made Jason do it first. We kind of mean to him back then. Alright, I hope there's nothing to embarrass anybody, but there was also this one time where like, uh, me and Liz were being me and Jason. I had like a Power Wheels. And um, there were only two seats, so me and Liz were sitting in the front, and Jason would ride on the back, and we'd like go up the hill in the backyard and like uh, push him off the back of it and stuff. And so, you know, he got upset. He goes inside, and my parents are like, oh, well, and you know, my aunt, my uncle. Um, they took a little pity on him, and they gave him a Hershey bar to be like, here, you know, you get a Hershey bar, and they don't. Hmm. And he went outside, and we pushed him down and took the Hershey bar. <laughs> Yeah, we had a couple of little, little meanies. Sounds ruthless. Oh, it was terrible. Sitting in the back here trying to come up with like funny videos so that we could win America's Funniest Home Video. <laughs> oh, you guys would uh, try to get on there? Well, not really, but we were just sitting there like $10,000, <laughs> like that's so many popsicles. <laughs> We'd be set for life. <laughs> I'd never have to work again. <laughs> I'd never have to work in my life. Ever. ever. <laughs> I don't know, by that time we, we were probably in like kindergarten at least, so yeah. I had done some finger painting. Work, working a lot. Yeah. So when you were cutting those, did you count how many eggs or do you just have like a, do you just know by eyeballing it for cutting so many times? I just know about how long, like, you know, for the sheets and everything. Yeah. Like, uh, I used to say when we were in the basement, uh, one time somebody came down and saw us like, you know, get the chalk it off off my hand and he's like, wow, you do that really fast. I'm like, well, I've done it like a thousand times. Yeah. So, if you don't know by now. So is there a reason you have to get everything super straight? Um, I like to just, you know, I'm gonna say aerodynamic, but that's, you know, not the right word to <laughs> chocolate dynamic, but um, just so that it's got the least resistance as it's going through. I like to keep them even spaced so that as the chocolate's wrapping around it, it's got room to like really form around each piece. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, uniformity is good for like when they're taking them off the, the thing. But like sometimes they get pushed around a little bit. Like yeah, around. yeah. Yeah, they absolutely get knocked around. Yeah. But hey man, nothing's perfect, right? Yeah. I'm just here to make peanut butter eggs. That's to be perfect. too quick. I just saw the eggs and I was like, no! You don't have a pedometer, do you? No. I'd love to see an exception taking the day doing this. Yeah. <laughs> really? Not really. I just had the step counter on my phone. Mm -hmm. 
It's like uh, while I'm here, it's like three thousand maybe. Really? Yeah. It's like nothing. Exactly. Yeah. When I used to work retail, I'd do like fifteen thousand a yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. But no, not that much anymore. Mm. So I heard Max talking about how he puts him on the belt. Mm -hmm. I was pretty technical and involved. Yeah. I put him on the belt, and they go wee. <laughs> Alright. Is that our Jerry Rig system? Yep. Here we go. High tech stuff. So what do we have to do with that? Yeah, so we have the shaker and the detailer. You can see this is hooked to the belt right here. It's got a little offset camera that it makes a wobble mm -hmm. and that shakes off the excess chocolate. And then that bar right there that's hooked to this belt, and that bar right there that's spinning, mm -hmm. that scrapes the bottom off the whatever's going through it. Yeah. So it doesn't leave a long trail mm -hmm. of chocolate. So, yeah, the shaker and the detail. So the motor broke and you got to screw it? I always use the drill. Yeah, for now. We've got a, we've got a replacement on the way. Yeah. Um, but until that comes, here's what we've got. Hmm. Low Jack City. Huh. Guess what? What? It's coming. Easter, Easter time. Oh, that's a nice Easter. And we're gonna unveil part of Easter. Peanut butter Easter eggs, cream <laughs> eggs. Do you have a favorite of the eggs? I like the peanut butter. Yeah? Yes. Do you like the marshmallow or the coconut? Mm, or? Yeah. But yeah. the peanut butter's good. Yeah. I think it's a best seller out of the eggs. We have right? them here in the milk. And then down here, we have them in the dark chocolate. Mm. And I'm going to wrap the milk today. So we'll go this way. Set the tray right here. We have a color code here. So, milk peanut butter goes in light green foil. Mm. The dark goes in dark green foil here so I had to get a little bit of the excess of the chocolate just roll it around like that yeah, pretty like this fold it over wrap it like that Hold that over, cover it, and smooth it out the best we can. I like it smooth. <laughs> there might be some wrinkles in it, but you can tell it's an egg, right? Mm -hmm. Or half of an egg. Yeah. Yeah, I think my dad said they used to do ones that were like full eggs. Yes, but they're just big. so big. That too big. Didn't. Did were you here when they used to do that? Yes, yeah, yeah we, and they came in a box too, the big ones. Oh yeah. But nobody eats that. Yeah. Big egg anymore. So I put the peanut butter milk sticker on the back, mm -hmm. and then I had to weigh it. One point two. Mm-hmm. And then I put a. The weight on the back. Got to find my pen. <laughs> right here. Do you have a favorite pen? 1.2. What do you think? Seems easy enough. It's easy enough, but there's going to be a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. Lots there's, of eggs. I think my mom said there's 700 in total. 500 yes. of the milk. And so a lot of us will be foiling eggs. Yeah. Like butter. Ooh. There you go. That do be looking good. Let me put the bigger side. Uh, I'm gonna go for that one because I think it's smaller. Okay. My mouth is watering. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say this? Well, you know, you said this is not your favorite thing here, but it's like one of them. Yeah. Chocolate I mean, potato chips is your favorite. Yeah, chocolate chips. I've been eating them my whole life. They were like that special thing we only got on like Easter and Christmas. Plain or cow like, chip? Plain. Oh, plain. Plain. All, okay. All of it. All right. But. Yeah, I'm super excited for peanut butter cream. What are you giggling at? Sure. She 
called Max a faker. <gasps> a faker? Because he always says he doesn't like dessert. Yeah. I don't I You're don't a, really like sweets or anything hater. but I love this new work frame. <laughs> all of a sudden he likes candy. Mm, not all of it. I guess you could say you're egg static. <laughs> um You're actually uh, laughing? You should be groaning. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was aiming for. <laughs> Just to hear Karen in the background. Oh <laughs> they can't throw anything at you. He's you know what I mean? We're on camera. Funny how proud you are of your joke. <laughs> Mm. Very peanut mm. buttery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very creamy. I'm a little upset it's covered in chocolate because it's got the peanut butteriness. <laughs> so you like the peanut butteriness the most? I just uh, I don't know if we talked about it on camera yesterday or not, but the confectioner sugar peanut butter that we make, the creamy peanut butter, it just changes it. It's like peanut butter candy. Hmm. Uh, mm. I don't, I don't like it. I think, I don't know why, I feel like these taste better than they did last year. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> like last year, I, I was like, remember. I mean, these are, wow, these are good, but this these are better than last year. Hmm. Did you guys add more peanut butter? You had two two jars of peanut butter and what, six shots? I think there's one more shot of peanut butter flavoring. Oh, yeah? Oh. That's it. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Remember, we not. tried it even before the... The peanut butter shots were thrown in, and that was super peanut buttery. And, I, and then you're like, "All right, six more shots." And I'm like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the peanut butter shots are like a slightly. It's not like straight up peanut butter, you know? Yeah, that's I mean? yeah, super peanut butter flavoring. Yeah, so potent. it like adds like this nice little roundness to it. Hmm. So it's creamy and peanut buttery. Any other descriptions? We should probably try a dark one before we really get into it. I mean, if you guys want to try a dark one. No, 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 no. It's it's just different chocolate. Mm. Oh, I would eat them all day, but yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, this I don't is know. Complete one eighty, <laughs> dude. I, this is like the peanut butter cream is the only thing I've been thinking about it for like two days now. Yeah, like even when I was all done with it, before I cleaned out the bowl, I was like taking six and like scraping the inside of the bowl and eating it. Hmm. Yep, got a weak spot. <laughs> um, Interesting. Yep, yeah. hmm. creamy, peanut buttery, chocolatey. Chocolate yeah. Better than last year. -y. Better than last year. -y. Yeah. And you can also join the notification. <laughs> oh, I can hardly move in this jacket. A new subscriber outreach program. It's about. <laughs>